Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I am here with a tutorial today. Um, we finished up our Parker Ponty Sew Along last week and um, today I've got a little bit of a tutorial. And as far as sew alongs going forward, bear with me, okay? <laughs> I have something a little different happening next Sunday and if you're curious as to what that is, um, I encourage you to sign up for the newsletter so that you have um, access to the very big announcement that I have for Tuesday because um, you'll have early access to that video. So when I send the newsletter out on Monday, um, tomorrow, you will have access to that news and um, it's pretty exciting. So <laughs> if I just say so myself. Anyway, um, so something a little different coming next Sunday, but then there's going to be a lot of sew along. So, and I can't tell you more about that. That's another exciting thing that's happening that's not related to the Tuesday news. So a lot of really cool things. But for today, I have got a pair of pants that are for my daughter. My daughter is an hourglass shape, which means she um, has to buy pants to fit her hips and then it's too big in the waist. So today I have a pair of ready to wear pants that um, from Everlane for her that we are going to be um, taking in the uh, waist. So they fit her in the hips, too big in the waist, and I'm gonna be walking you through how to do that adjustment to take in um, and alter a pair of pants to take the waist in. So if you also have waist back waist gap and um, need to take in your um, back part of your pants, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So without further ado, let's go have a look. All right, so I've got Ava here. She's got on her pants, and if you turn to the side so we can see, um, these fit her really well in the hips and butt, but we've got just a little bit of excess that we need to take out of center back. Not a ton. I washed and dried these. This is a rayon um, twill, so um, it really it helps that it shrunk a little bit. Here, where you hold these pins. All right, so what we're going to do, um, you're first going to take the back of your pant, and we want to pinch all of the excess out here at center back. How does that feel? Nice. Does that feel good? Yeah. And then we're just going to pin, give me another pin, <laughs> we're just going to pin that out. So this is the mount that we want to remove from center back. So now that I've pinned this on her, um, I'm going to go over to the table and show you guys how to fix this. Okay. So here we've got her pants. Um, obviously we have welt pockets that, oh, I need to open those too. <laughs> welt pockets that haven't been opened. Um, and I've pinned on, this is when those were together, that is how much we needed to take out of the center back of her pants, um, which was really bulky, but I think it's more because of the belt loop here. Now, this pant pattern has a center back seam here, which is gonna be very helpful for that waistband, but if yours doesn't, that's okay. You can add one. Um, most likely, it'll be covered up nice and neat by that belt loop anyway, um, and there's usually a belt loop at center back, so. Don't worry if you have to cut your waistband and add a center back seam, that's absolutely fine. So let's determine how much we need to take this in. We have gone two inches total. Well, yeah, about an inch on each side needs to be taken out. Now, you could take all of this out of center back, but it's gonna do a couple of things. Number one, it's gonna make your, by the time you've gone from two, you know, two inches up here or an inch on each side, down to nothing at the center back seam, your pockets are gonna be really close together. Um, also, that has a tendency to, when you take all of the excess um, width out in one spot, it will move your side seams to the back. Because uh, technically, you need it taken out all the way around the pant, but we're not taking this off and redoing our pleats and all that kind of stuff. That's way too much work. So what I'm going to do, I have two darts here. So the first step is I'm going to take out a little bit of this width here at um, each dart and then the rest here at center back seam. So I'm only going to be messing here. If you have a lot that needs to come out of the back, you can also take some out of the side seams and take those in a little bit, you know, take any darts you have and then also take center back seam. So the first step that I'm going to do is I'm first going to unpick from about... Oh, an inch and a half probably, um, in between the dart and this belt loop. I'm gonna unpick the waistband um, through that area. So let's do that really quick. All right, 
Once we have the waistband completely unpicked from the back of the pants, we can now, um, I'm gonna need to unpick the basting of the pockets up here at the top. But once we've done that, we can go to the meet at the sewing machine and I will show you how to take these in and re-sew it. All right, so I've got my um, waistband all unpicked and I have got my sewing machine here set up and we'll move to it in a second, but I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna take things out. So the waistband is off. Um, I've got my center back seam that is here and then I've released a little bit so you can see my darts. I've just pulled that pocket away, the top of the pocket that gets caught in the waistband um, for that welt pocket, I've pulled that away. So what I'm gonna do is I need to lose a total of two inches. So I am gonna take a half of an inch out of each dart, so that is one inch. So by taking a half of an inch out of the dart, I'm gonna go at a quarter of an inch into the pant and go to nothing pretty quickly here on this dart. You can't get very far into the dart because it's been cut into with the welt pocket. So that is gonna be one spot and we will mark it here in a second. So I'm gonna do that on both darts. So a half inch in this dart, a half inch in that dart, that's one full inch. And then in center back seam, I'll take out the other inch. So I'll start at half of an inch here at the top because half of an inch on this side, half of an inch on this side equals an inch. So I'll start here and I'll go down to nothing um, at this center seam, okay? So I am just going to draw that in and then put some pins so you can see what I'm doing. So let's start with center back seam. I want this to lie nice and flat and I will put some um, pins in here in just a second. But I am going to measure over half of an inch from the current sewing line. And I'm gonna mark it with some chalk. And we want this to go from that to nothing here at the crotch curve. And you can use a more curved ruler if you want. I mean, this is the crotch curve, so it does have a little bit of, you know, curve. Just wanna make it natural. So that's half of an inch and we just really wanna lose that half of an inch there at the top because the waist is the issue. Now I'm gonna go in here to my dart and just kinda pull it through. There's nothing that's not fiddly with doing alterations. <laughs> so I hate him. Uh, okay, now we're gonna mark over a quarter of an inch on this from the sew line of this dart. Just mark that in real quick. That's more than a quarter of an inch. All right. And you can mark that line in as well, but I'm just gonna pin this and we're just gonna go for it. And then the same on the start. And we can mark that in, or if you wanna just wing it and, you know, line up your, the previous sewing line with um, with your presser foot or some other marking on your machine. All right. So I'm gonna go over here to the machine and I'll take you with me. And we're gonna sew this a quarter of an inch. So for a half inch, go down to nothing. This half of an inch down to nothing. And then this a quarter of an inch down to nothing. So let's go to the machine and do that really quick. And then we will, let me take a look at my waistband here. And I'm gonna have to pick, unpick the top of that waistband. Um, then we will fix our waistband. That's unfortunate. They've interfaced over the seam allowance. Why would they do that? Not proper sewing, Everlane. <laughs> okay, so I'm on my Bernina 770. This is my loaner machine from University of Sewing. I'm loving this machine. If you guys are in the market for a new machine, I highly recommend. Okay, so I'm just gonna start at one dart, gonna go to center back seam and then hit the other dart. Just trying to not sew onto something that I don't want to sew on. Again, this can be very fiddly.
I also have my dual feet on today. It's the first time I've used that. All right, so as you can see, I have gone quarter of an inch and then just gone down a little bit to where I hit that excess of the dart. Oh, and I caught a little bit of, well, no, I didn't, we're good. Okay, that should press fine. The next, we're gonna go to the center back. This one's a little bit bigger. Ow, I'm just stabbing myself repeatedly with pins. And this one will go down a little further because it's a bigger gap. We get back to that original stitch line. So there we've gone from half of an inch up here all the way down. I didn't really follow my line very well, but that's okay. Down to hit here, okay? Give that a nice little curve. And then finally, we're gonna go to this dart. Everything is just so fiddly. Now we've taken that one in a quarter of an inch down to nothing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we wanna to go to our ironing board. We're gonna to go to our ironing board and we're gonna give our dart a good press, our center back seam a good press, and our other dart a press. And also we are gonna go with our seam ripper and we need to, I'm assuming that your waistband is attached to the other waistband at the top. We need to unpick, um, I mean, at least an inch and a half on each side, maybe two inches on each side of the center back seam. Go ahead and take the tag off too. We can reattach that at the end. But um, your buttonholes, or your buttonhole, your button, oh my gosh, your belt loop is going to need to come off. And then we'll re -sew that on. And then, um, yeah, just unpick this top seam as well so that we have two separate waistband pieces. Um, and then I'll meet you back here. All right, so I have got, um, I went and pressed everything, everything uh, correctly, and then I just basted that pocket back in place, so that's all one. I also went ahead and basted my um, belt loop back in place, so that's just dangling there on the back part of the pants. Now, I have unpicked, oops, sorry, I just hit the hit everything. I've unpicked the tag. We'll put that back in in a minute. If you want it, you don't have to put it back in. And I've got my waistband unpicked there at the top. So everything is nice and divided. Now, my waistband has a um, bias binding that finishes off the inside edge. I am not going to mess with unpicking that and redoing that back up. Um, and we're taking enough off of this that I think it'll just, you know, when it's finished, it'll just you know, I'll press it to one side and there'll just be a seam and I think that's gonna be okay. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this to the inside. So here's my outside waistband and there's my inside waistband. Um, I do wanna unpick if your seam allowances are tacked down. It makes life a lot easier. Unpick those. A lot of unpicking. This really isn't doesn't take that long though. It's a pretty quick alteration. Oh, 
All right. All right, so now what we're gonna do, this is center back. Now, if you didn't have a center back, you would just be pinching your waistband together and creating a center back seam, basically. But because I do have a center back seam, I'm going to measure over one inch because one inch plus one inch is gonna give me two inches. And we're gonna mark that. So I'm just gonna measure over one inch from that cut line, and I'm just gonna put a pen. Make sure that's all nice and Alternatively, you can mark it in, <laughs> which is probably the smarter idea. Okay, and then on the side that has that's finished off with the bias binding, I'm just gonna fold that over on itself like that because the top and the well the the top isn't the top is open. But the bottom is, um, oh, all that belt loop thread. But the bottom is um, finished off with that bias. So I'm just going to fold that back on itself. And then do the same thing. We want to mark one inch from the sewn line, the previous sewn line. I have no idea if my pins are going the correct way. This is just, we'll figure that out as we go. <laughs> Ooh. Hitting everything here. All right. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go and sew this at one inch and this one at one inch which that's clearly gonna need to change direction. Okay, so I'm just gonna go sew both of those um, center back seams at one inch and then I'll meet you right back here. All right, so we've got one sewn, sorry, it's easier to see, one inch from the previous sew line. And then the other one, we kind of just fold back on itself, but it's also one inch from the previous fold line. So now I'm gonna go press. Now my inner waistband, you could, cut this and then, you know, do it open, but you will have, I mean, I guess you could do that and just fold it up. Maybe I will do that. It will obviously lie more flat if it's just going to cut right through the middle. And this is what you would be doing if you didn't have a center back seam allowance. Yeah. And I'll just tuck those up a little bit so that they're not, the raw edge isn't hanging out. So now we're going to go and we're going to press these two seam allowances open and then we'll be sewing our waistband pieces back together and then back to the back of the pan. So let's go so press those open and then I will meet you right back here. Okay, so I've pressed that all nice and open. So now we're going to attach our waistband pieces at the top, which is this up here. And you may need to, un I'm going to need to unpick a little bit more of my understitching and top stitching here just so I can make sure that the lines of stitching get lined up. Okay. This does get a wee bit fiddly. But I'm just going to put a pin here where I want that center back seam to meet. Ouch. Oh folks, I just bled on the pants. <laughs> Blood, sweat, and tears. To pull this back a little bit more.
These were top stitched, under stitched, everything. A lot of unpicking to do on these pants. Okay, so now we can go and sew this seam back together. Is still understitched there. Okay. All right, now we can get in and close up that seam. <laughs> nope. So once we've got that seam done, now we can flip this over and we can sew our top stitching back down. Now I want to sew on the right side. And you can go give this a good press if you would like. I am losing the pants off the table here. Wait, is that the inside? That's the inside. I want a top stitch from the outside. <laughs> I want a top stitch on the right side. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn my pants the other way around. Oops, sorry. Okay. So now I'm going to make sure everything's lying nice and flat and I am going to trim my excess thread here, but I'm going to re top stitch this in place. So this is along the top edge. Oh wait, you know what I want to do before I do that? I want to reattach my tag. Now is the time, if you do want to reattach your tag, go ahead and sew that onto the facing. Just kind of center it on that seam. Just gonna pull all that old thread out. Okay, so you just wanna make sure that that seam allowance under there is nice and pressed open. Make sure you're not sewing on top of anything you don't want to catch. Okay. Now I'm going to top stitch. 
some errant threads. So now from the right side, I'm just gonna pick up, I'm gonna, I am going to lengthen my stitch length to 3.5. And I am going to just start sewing right kind of a little bit in from where I unpicked. Go slow where it's thick. Don't want to risk a broken needle. All right. Okay, now we just need to reattach the waistband back to the pants, and this is actually much easier than you might think. Because um, you can just kind of slide it over <laughs> because you've got your previous stitch line, and usually it's like pressed in pretty, pretty tight. Or you can go in the old school way, like the way you would sew it. Tack that down which I guess we could do. That's probably the better way. I'm gonna match up center backs. Okay. So I'm just going to sew my waistband back to my pants here. And we're just really kind of tacking it in place here because um, it'll get sewn really well again when we get top stitched. So now you can go um, press that up if you want, or a lot of times you don't need to because it's been factory pressed. So a lot of times I'm going to flip these wrong side out again so I can sew um, inside the pant kind of, and I'm going to trim some threads here too. So let me turn these right side out or inside out. A lot of going back and forth between right side out, inside out, right side out, inside out. Okay, so now, uh oh, hold on, I caught a pinch. Uh, now make sure that you didn't catch a pinch in your pants, which I did. Okay, I'm gonna go unpick this and re-sew this because I caught a pinch here. So um, I'll be right back. Okay, once we've got the uh, waistband attached, and um, I mean, we haven't attached this part. So I've got, I fixed my little tuck that was in there. <laughs> Gave that a good press to go up. Um, I'll give it another good press here in a little bit. Here's my um, uh, butt loop that will get tacked down here in just a minute. But now we need to top stitch along the area and that's gonna stitch the our inside facing down. I unfortunately went a little past. I'm going to have to do this around a buttonhole. This could be interesting, folks. This could be interesting. <laughs> I may come back at that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to sew that facing back down. And I'm sewing from the right side, making sure everything's lying flat under there. OK. 
Okay, so I've met up with the stitching line on that side. I'm gonna have to come back at it though, going this way, cause I'm gonna have to move. I'm gonna have to get creative here with my, where's that right there? With my belt loop being in the way. This is one of the side belt loops. Unpicked a little too far. All right, there we go. <laughs> Perfect, just like it was planned. Okay, so now we have our waistband reattached. Sorry, I hit the tripod. And um, now is a good time to go and clean up any random stitching marks that you've got anywhere else. Um, and now we're just gonna put our belt loop back. So I'm just gonna, you can use a, a um, bar tack if you'd like, or just sew back and forth a couple of times. I think that's what I'm gonna do to reattach my belt loop. Okay, so now it's just a matter of cleaning up our threads, which I have a lot of that to do, and uh, giving everything one last good press. And you have successfully made your waistband smaller. So to fix that waistband gap. So I'm just gonna give everything, everything's very wrinkly. This is again, like a Rayon or a Elias Eltwell. I'm gonna give everything one last really good press, clean up my threads, and I will show you the after on my daughter. All right, so now we have fixed the waist. So when she turns around at the side, other side, other way, <laughs> um, she no longer gets that waist gap. It's all fitting nice and um, tied up against her waist. Um, but still nice and fitted and we didn't, oh, I need to cut open your well pocket still, um, but still hanging really well from the rear end. Um, as soon as I open up those well pockets, um, yeah, and we've got a great pair of, uh, fitting, a great fitting pair of pants. So there we have it. Okay. So there you have it. That is just a, a pretty easy way to, um, take in the back part of uh, your waist. So now that the waistband fits tight, you can see her before and her after. After. Um, and now she's got pants that she can wear um, that don't, you know, slide down when she sits down because they fit securely at her waist. And she doesn't necessarily have to wear a belt if she doesn't want to. Um, for someone that has shaped the way she is, I wish she would wear more belts because <laughs> it would keep her, her waist up or her um, pants up a little bit better. But, you know, you can't tell teenagers what to do. So in that area <laughs> when it comes to dressing. So anyway, hopefully this fix has now made these pants that she's going to reach for time and time again. All right, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll answer those as soon as possible. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter because if you're not already, because big announcement coming tomorrow evening. So big news on Tuesday. Okay, that's all I've got. Hope you guys have a good one. Great Sunday. Get some sewing in and I'll see you next time. Bye.